Hi guys, Amazing Umu here again. Um, I have another tutorial to show you today. Um, this one is about showing a health bar on your character. So I will talk you through the whole process of getting it set up. Um, just to let you know, I have a bit of a cold at the moment, so I'm quite bunged up. I probably sound a little bit rough. Um, I'm hoping that I sound kind of husky and interesting, but I probably just sound sick, so please don't tell me that. Um, I have a complicated scene set up here already. I have my brand new puppet and some spikes today. Now the spikes are already set up with a health modifier to do damage to the player at a constant rate whenever they are in this trigger zone. Um, it's very easy to set up. I'll let you work that out. It's very simple. But that's just to demonstrate how our health bar works today. Now with the health, if you have a look in your puppet, scope inside, scope into your uh, controller logic and in here you will see a health manager now if you've done the main tutorials it, it tells you all about your health and and how to um, deal with the health on your character um, it doesn't show you about displaying your health in a trendy way if you wanted to just see a basic number you could add in a number displayer like this and if you have a look in your health manager there's an output here for current health and you just stamp that on there and that is how you would display your health as a number on the screen it works very easily and that just deducts health whenever the player is standing in the section you can see that happening on the screen so that's a great sort of effect but it's a little bit basic for me and we're going to try something a little bit more complex today which is as i've said displaying a health bar across the top of the screen so as I've said multiple times, with any more complex logic, you're going to need a microchip. Now a microchip is just a blank canvas. It does not do anything by itself at all. If you scope into it, you will see nothing because it does nothing. All of these circuitry that you see here are all microchips and oh, these, these boards, this red board in the background is a microchip and there is logic stuck into that microchip that just keeps the logic more neat and tidy than having all of it crammed into one microchip or even worse, crammed into your scene, much like this health modifier is. If you can imagine having all of these items floating in your scene, it becomes very cluttered very quickly. So this is a good way to keep it organized. If you scope into your microchip, the very first thing that we're going to need to display your health is a text displayer. We won't be displaying any text in it. So if you tweak your text displayer, <clears throat> you can see that it's already appeared over the left hand side here. Now I'm going to leave it there for now because you can mess around with the positioning in this tab, the alignment tab. But for now, we're going to go into the text box properties and the first thing we must do is turn off auto fit. So that the text box stays a constant size at all times. And you can just reduce it to whatever size you want to display your character's health. I'm going to leave it where it is there like that. So once you've done that, you're going to come over here and duplicate your text displayer. And these are both. So this first text displayer, this white one, is your empty health bar. So that's when the health bar is empty. It has nothing in it. This text box here, it looks the same for now. We're going to adjust the settings. Um, we're going to change the fill here to uh, yeah, something like red or something like that. And in the border properties tab, we're going to turn off shadow and we're going to get rid of border width. So it's just a solid bar like this. And that means that now when they display like that, you have two bars. So now that we've done that, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So now that we've done that, we've got our health bar appearing on the screen already. And it's important as well, while we're here, if you just put a space in, just one space or something like that, so that it always displays because sometimes they have a tendency not to display on the screen if there's no text written in it. So in your health manager, we're gonna, uh, first of all, sorry, we're gonna go to logic and processing and stamp down a calculator. And what we want is to get a number between zero and one because your health is out of 100. 
So we're going to take the maximum health and put it on B, operand number 2. And we're going to take the current health and put it on operand number 1. And we're going to make this calculator divide. And that now divides the current health by the maximum health. And that will give you an output of between 0 and 1. And that's useful for what we're going to do next. So we'll now need to add in a timeline in the animate section. And this will animate our health bar. So if you scope in today, you're presented with your timeline. Now at this point, it's probably easiest if you make your text displayer for the interior health visible. We won't need this one on the left here, which is the outside line, the empty bar. We just need the filling, the meat, I suppose. I'm going to make this about 10 seconds long. So add in a keyframe. We're going to put that here at about 10 seconds. And this is for your full health bar. So in order to register this health bar on here, hover over the fill here and just lightly squeeze R2. And you'll know when you've done it because the text display in the back here will have turned sort of a hashed animated. You don't want to reduce the size or change the shape in any way. You want to make sure that that is the full setting. And then you can reduce your timeline like as accordingly. So we'll now need to add in a second keyframe. And we're not going to add it right at the beginning. We're going to add it a couple of frames in, like here. And this is going to be your health bar reduced. You can see mine is center aligned. I forgot to turn that off. We're going to keep it how it is. I'm fine with that. Reduce it down to the smallest possible amount that you can, which is there. and then stop recording. Now the health bar won't go any smaller than that, which is why the keyframe isn't at the beginning here, because in the last keyframe, we're gonna make the health bar disappear entirely. So in order to do that, if you have a look in these settings here, you can see there's a power button here, and that turns the display on or off. So we're gonna add in a third keyframe, put this one right at the beginning, and in your text display settings, turn it off. And that will prevent it from displaying. And you'll want to add in a tween, which the shortcut is L1 and X, to add in just a normal straight blend. You don't want any fancy blends. You just want this one linear. You don't want ease in, ease out, or ease both. And also while you're here, you'll want to turn off smoothing so that it's a constant flow between the two frames. So now we have our health bar set up. And what we're going to need to do now, if you, sorry, keep the timeline open, take your output from your calculator and apply it onto your playhead here. But you didn't know you could do that. And that will move your health bar. That will move the playhead between zero and one across this timeline. So it sort of sets the strength. Now, as you can see, the playheads all the way jumped right the way to the end here. So if we go into play mode, we now have got a health bar on the left, which now reduces in size as the player stands here. So it's a little bit of a shorter tutorial today. Um, the last one was 20 minutes long and I appreciate that that's quite a long time to stay focused. Um, but that's it basically. You've now set up a basic health bar. There are more things you could do, like you could add in a switch so that when you're in the middle of a uh, cutscene, you can turn the health bar off entirely um, and you could use a keyframe for that or you could use a wireless transmitter or something like that to make sure that your health bar doesn't display when you don't want it to. But for now, there's your basic health bar. Um, if you want to let me know in the comments anything else you want me to tutorial next. I'm kind of just doing stuff I'm familiar with. A lot of people have asked for some quite complex logic and I'm still trying to get the hang of it myself. So I apologize if I haven't gotten to your request. I will try and do that in the future. Um, whilst I'm sort of learning the ropes, I need to make sure I understand it myself before I try and tell you because that would be an appalling video if I didn't understand it and was just sat here going, uh, 
I don't know. But anyway, so let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you want next. And I will probably not do it for now. Thanks very much. Have a good day. Goodbye.